This is Jason here, and we have Vic with us today. Together, we are Falcon PV. Today, we're going to present to you our Zero 10X Limited. Right, during the lockdown, we thought long and hard about what our Zero Riders wanted in a perfect scooter. Using the Zero 10X as a working base today is the limits of our imagination. But what you could possibly do with it, right, is unlimited. So during the COVID lockdown, we thought long and hard about the perfect scooter. A lot of riders wanted higher performance, better upgrades, more speed, more range. And yes, we've put all of that into here. What's in the Zero Tanx Limited, right, is just the beginning of things. It is just a platform that we have built on and for you, further expand on so shall we yeah show them what we got I'm gonna talk through it and show you how step by step how the proper setup procedure should be firstly the battery is in the battery compartment so take out the battery pack by unzipping the bag right just set it aside you can see this battery is purpose fully built for the zero tanx so we have done plenty of water tests on this battery bag and we've sprayed it with water on the sides from the top from the bottom and no water gets in so as far as the battery goes it's very well protected okay so having secured the battery having plugged in the connectors now we're going to move towards the setting up the handlebars what we call this dashboard setting up the dash is a little bit tedious you're going to remove the four screws that clamps onto the handlebar and take it out and put it put on the handlebars center align the handlebars plug in the LCD and then you know. well thank you Jason for setting it up now you have seen how it sets up right now before you even try going on it so Jason would you explain uh, what you have at the back sure Vic okay what we have here is a 60 volt Pick at 3000 uh, 3, watt motor here, 10 inch motor. Brake system, we have here a nut hydraulic brake. Next, it's coupled with a tire hugger. Okay, this is something that is very different from your current tire hugger. And of course, we did something to the suspension. We hear you. It's a DNM 36RC air shock. It's got the nut hydraulic brakes uh, with the cooling fins. So even at high speeds, it's got great stopping power, right? Without losing that braking power because it dissipates the heat pretty quickly. So inside here, you've got two huge 50 amp output controllers, right? To go with this highly intelligent sine wave FOC controllers are two highly muscular motor. These motors are 1,600 watt nominal of power output with a peak of 3,000 watts each. That gives you a combined total of 6,000 watts to push this machine to its limits. This controllers with the 50M discharge can power this highly muscular motors to give you both the brain and the brawn. Head with a 10 times 3 inch, it's got the right clamp to hold it all together. Right? Because with such speed, you don't want any free play, you don't want any creaking. So this rugged clamp is able to hold it tightly, tighter than what the stock Zero Tanx clamp would give you. As Drayson was setting up earlier, you could have seen that this was kind of the central element to this whole system. This is the power source, the battery. This is the LG MJ1 lithium ion battery pack, 60 volts, 28 AH. It gives a total range of 140 kilometers per charge at a cruising speed of 25 km per hour and at the top speed at the top speed of what this machine can give which is around 80 km per hour it gets about a third of that range so 40 km or less but that's pretty good by any means a completely waterproof battery case and we've tested it to the core we've sprayed water from the sides from the top from the bottom and no water gets in right this is the fortress for your battery. On the handlebar, we're gonna go through from the right to the left. 
Okay, here we have a waterproof switch, which is the on off button. Okay, you can see that the screen lights up with the zero logo on it. You have your Wusing throttle here. In the middle, you have a display which tells you all the information, multifunctional. And of course, you have the light switch. This is touch sensitive, guys. Something new. We removed the old ones. We have a new single dual motor and on off switch for the lights with backlight LED. How cool is that, guys? Okay, now we also have the nut brake grips and the zero grips at the end. And there you go, guys. This is the new handlebar setup for the Zero 10X Limited. All right, let's go for hey, a ride. Wait, hold up, hold up, Jason. Before we go for a ride on this, let's show the little touches that we have put you know, okay. into this limited version, right? Because that's exactly what the, the exactly what it is, right? The little touches make up the heart and soul of mm -hmm. this scooter. Now, you know, on the grips, the previous, the, or rather the stock 10X, it has those wing ergonomic grips, which are nice, which are comfortable, uh, but for high speeds, we would prefer the ribbed uh, silicone version, which helps to absorb the shock, right? Riding at high speeds. And of course, you know, we have a little logo engraved into the handlebar grips, which adds to, you know, the entire look and feel of the scooter, which is all black. Like mostly black and it's you know fierce. Now on the center console, right, you have the touch capacitive button which lights up the LED under deck lighting. Mm -hmm. At night, for nighttime riding, it gives it a very nice look and feel, you know, as though you're like a little lit cloud drifting through uh, you know along the ground. Right? So these are the nice touches that we've done. Uh, of course you have a new silk screen on the deck. Uh, which really shows um, the limited version, right? Different from the stock 10x version. Mm -hmm. And something that I'm really proud of uh, is something that you know may not seem important to people, but they are the Moto Excel guards, right? Moto Excel okay. guards. I'll show you. Okay, let me turn the scooter around. So right, let me get, please out, get out of the way because right, this takes a little bit of effort. There you go. How that scooter turn around? Right. We can look, we can see more clearly at this motor guard. Now, you know, remember just now I said that this was a really powerful motor. So this motor has two phase wires running out of it. And one of the phase wires runs through the motor axle. Now during a spill right. or fall, right, the motor axle wire could accidentally get cut off and that could cause some problems. So even though this plastic guard seemed unimportant, but actually it plays a really important role in protecting the phase wire, right? So, you know, you have a pair, which is uh, one, one in front and one at back. So these are the tiny touches, Jason, that I think would make the Limited really special. Like, I, I don't believe there's any other scooter out there that has these little touches that represents the heart and soul of the Limited. And this is exactly what we want, right, Jason, you and I, and the rest of our team. This is exactly what we want this Limited to be which is a scooter, right, that is only limited by the imagination of our riders. Okay, Jason. So at the end of the day, folks, this scooter really represents what we at Falcon want limited to be, which is a scooter that is only limited by your imagination. All right, let's stop the talking. Let me hop on it and let's go. All right.